Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today I want to talk to you about solar panels. A lot of you are using the folding solar panels like I have back here, and so I'm going to start doing a test on some of the larger folding solar panels. I think there's a big advantage in using the bigger solar panels because they move around. They don't move around easier, but they move around less. So for example, let me tell you what I'm talking about. This is a Blue Eddy PV350, and I have the Blue Eddy sent this to me. Actually, they've sent me four of them over the years or more. And uh, I've been testing them, and this is a fantastic solar panel. Really, really, really good solar panel. But because it's a Blue Eddy name brand product, it's quite expensive. So that's the only question. It's very high quality, very well made. Uh, and so they cost more to manufacture, and so they charge more. It did all make sense. But with solar panels, my advice in the past has been just buy in price because they're commodities. Now that is, that's absolutely true of hard solar panels. And I would always say that. Just buy the cheapest solar panel you can buy. There's no need to buy a name brand. On these folding solar panels, it becomes important again, the name brand and the quality. But still, the price is very high. At retail, this is $850 for a single 350-watt panel. They also have sent me in the past uh, the PV200, which is basically the same uh, solar panel, just smaller. It's $500, but to get almost the same uh, wattage, you'd have to buy two of them. Then you'd have 400 as opposed to 350. Uh, then you'd be spending $1,000 for 400 watts. And boy, that's a lot of money. So as great as they are, as these are, and uh, I'm wondering if you shouldn't end up buying a, a much less expensive, or maybe you don't have a thousand dollars to spend on 400 watts of solar. That's an awful lot of money. So this test is going to be uh, a comparison between off brands and the Blue Eddy. Now I already know the Blue Eddies are fantastic. You're getting your money's worth, they're, they're really, really great. But they're very expensive. Can you get not the same quality, but good enough quality for a lot less money? Let's, let's compare that. So I'll bring in a couple panels here and that I'm gonna do a comparison test on. I'll bring it in right now. So I have here uh, a two 200 watt folding solar panels. We'll compare size and initial uh, impressions and then I'll stick them up and I'll use them for a while and we'll see how, how I, what I think of them long term. I already know what I think of the, of the Blue Eddy. I think they're fantastic. They're a high quality product. They're gonna last you long term. They're just very, very expensive. So we wanna compare a cheaper one. Uh, I'm all in favor of buying the cheapest thing you can buy that will last. You have to be careful that you're not penny wise dollar foolish. You, you spend a lot less to buy a, a lot less quality product and then you have to replace it two or three times as opposed to the cost of uh, your, your one expensive one. This first one uh, we're testing, it's a 200 watt folding. It's made by All Powers. Uh, there are not a lot of choices in 200 watt folding panels. So you really don't get a lot of choices. This is one of the better priced ones that I found. And, you know, just looking at the, the handle here, I can see quality. And I'll tell you, my very first impression is positive. Uh, everything looks to be pretty good quality, pretty well made. Let's look at the let's look at the cords you're getting. Oh, you're getting a lot of stuff here. Oh, so it's a standard MC4. That's the most important thing whenever you buy a solar panel. I don't care what kind of solar panel. Make sure it comes with MC4s. If it comes with MC4s, you can get this connected. I don't you, somehow you can buy a cable, some connection, whatever you're buying. If it has MC4s, you can get it connected. Uh, so what Al Powers did, and a lot of the better ones are all doing this, is it's giving you multiple connectors. So here this goes from MC4 to uh, which you just plug straight into the panel because it's in some C4. That's, that's why you're looking for MC4. It's the universal standard. So this goes from MC4 to what's called an Anderson connector, which is uh, a very common, a really quality. Uh, actually, Anderson is probably one of the best you can buy. It also has one that goes into, I know it has a one going into 5.5 millimeter, which is um, 
which is what a lot of the smaller units use the smaller 5.5 mc4 to 5.5 it has oh this one just goes to a battery so this you can plug into the panel and it has uh, battery clips and you can just plug it straight into any battery you own you if you got a battery sitting on the ground you can connect this panel to it it then you'd be you don't have a controller then it would be your obligation just to keep an eye on it and make sure you're not overvolting it and killing it, which is a real easy thing to do. Uh, and finally, it has a, a multiple connector. I know there's an eight millimeter connector, the 5.5. It's got four, five different connectors. This is pretty standard among solar panels. They've done a really good job of giving you a lot of options here. This is not a long cable. Uh, I would like to see the cable longer, but cabling looks good. Not great, but good. Got that brand new solar panel smell. Oh, fold it out. So this is a is a cheap cheap Chinese name. Never heard of it before. Uh, it did have surprisingly good reviews. It had quite a few good reviews. Grissel, 200 watts. These are both 200 watts. I think the 200 watts are the sweet spot. Uh, they're a little heavier than the one, not even a lot heavier than a 100. Weirdly enough, I would already say this one was better packaged, uh, quite a bit better packaged than the All Power. Well, this one's actually more expensive, quite a bit more expensive. So to me, this is kind of a no name. I've never heard of this name before. But I would say so far, that's already packaged better. That did have nothing around it. It has grommets, and I like grommets. Uh, grommets allow you to hang a panel off of the side of your van. I have a dog named Cody, and as you may have probably seen or are well aware, and Cody likes to pee on anything and everything. And uh, solar panels are at the top of his list. So there aren't solar panel uh, grommets in the middle, but they're on the top and the bottom. I would like a panel to have grommets and to be, I think this will be light enough that you could realistically grommet it to the side of your van. At uh, my first impressions are real positive. I like, the quality seems good. One of the things I liked about this one and the, one of the reasons I ordered it is it has kind of a hard board here, which is Jackery. The Jackery kind of became known for that. It had the orange handle and the hard board. And I think that's a good thing. I think having a good solid hold here on the panel is nice. Uh, right off the bat, I would say this is better. Uh, yeah, this is a thicker. Now, does it have, is this really better? It looks better. I'd have to cut it open to see if it was really any better on the inside. But I will tell you, from first glance, this definitely looks better, and it's an MC4. This is thin, but that's very short. Uh, oh, it's longer, much longer. That automatically is better. Why won't they give you enough cabling to do something with? So one of the differences is they have given you an MC4 to multi-adapter. So this is the Anderson. That's exactly the same. This is an, what's called an XT60. That is becoming a very common connector. This is a standard eight millimeter. This will go into almost all the Jackeries and a lot of the Blue Eddies now are using the eight millimeter and the Anderson, which is a pretty universal. This is kind of an unusual connector. This is a connector, this is called an aviation connector. And it's something that Blue Eddy uses uh, quite a bit and other power stations. So what, you, what you'll do is you'll buy an extension. And so you'll get a 10, 20, 30, 40 foot extension cable. You'll plug that into this. That will run out into your rig or wherever you're going. And then this will plug into the extension. So as you can see, this one is much, much uh, the uh, Grissel, G-R-E-C-E-L-L, -L, is, is much longer. And the quality of the cable is, uh, I would say, higher. So here they are side by side. As you can see, the All Powers is substantially smaller than the Grissel. And uh, it's also heavier, which is very odd. It's a couple pounds heavier. The All Powers is um, 14 pounds and the Grissel is 11 pounds. So this is three pounds lighter, uh, although it's uh, substantially smaller. That would concern me. Usually weight is better. You're buying more, better copper, more copper, uh, heavier 
materials. There's a reason this is heavier. Um, and and then the fact that it's smaller too, that would imply the quality of the build is better, but that that's just an assumption that I'm making. Seems logical. One thing I don't like about this one right away is to be able to pick it up by the handle is you have to do these. And if you don't do these, it flops open and you'd have to pick it up. You can't carry it from by the handle anymore. It'll unfold. And this has a magnet and, uh, and it's solid here. And so that's all you have to do. You just close it and you walk away. And another thing, of course, I mentioned before was the grommets. You don't have grommets. I think the, the lack of a grommets is substantial. To me, that's, uh, that's important. A significant point is the Grissel is rated as IP65 rated. Uh, that's an international standard, IP, that's international panels. They do ratings of things, and the company gives it to them, and they test it, and they give it a rating. IP65 means it's splash resistant. In other words, uh, you, couldn't, you threw this in the water, and it would be destroyed. It's not waterproof. That's completely different. But that does mean that you can splash some water on this and it's not going to be destroyed. But they say, do not put it out in the rain, do not submerge it. So it's not waterproof, don't think that. But I think the odds are that if they, these were both out in the same amount of rain, would, this would be destroyed much sooner than this one would be because of the IP65 rating. And the quality of the connections kind of looks better, like that to me too. Uh, probably the biggest thing of all is price, isn't it? Uh, the Grissel is the more expensive, and I'm not exactly sure why. It's actually a lot more money. This is 395, this is 305. Huge difference. Same 200 watts. Uh, and there are things that look to be better about this one, but I, not so much better that you'd spend almost, you'd spend $90 more. 395, 305. However, uh, this one came with a $70 off coupon, and this one came with a $25 off coupon, and that's a really common thing. They, I think it's almost universal. That, People are jacking prices up and giving you uh, discount coupons to bring the price down and make you think, oh, what a great deal. I better buy it right now. And it works. I buy, <laughs> I tend to fall for it. Uh, so it was $70 off, so I bought it. And I really, I bought it because of these handles and the grommets and the IP65 rating. That's why I decided this one would be where I bought my, these with my own money. They didn't send them to me. I, that's why I thought I would spend the more money and get this one to test it because of those several advantages. So this one, after the coupons, ended up to be $325. This one ended up being $275. This one was, the Grissel is $50 more. Uh, and again, I see several advantages. I see a little better quality into it. The, the wiring seems better. Uh, it's IP65 rated. So you are paying more, $50 more. That's substantial. But uh, it might be better quality, and I, the only time will tell. So those are the two big things. Of course, this is lighter, bigger, and lighter. Okay, now when we're talking about price, what you have to do is you can't be fooled, uh, especially when we're comparing different sizes. We're comparing the, the 375, the Blue Eddy 375 to these 200. So of course it's gonna be a lot more. It has a whole lot more wattage. So you have to break it down by the price per watt. And that's, that will give you a price you're always shooting for. With hard panels, I'm shooting for a dollar a watt. If it's a 100 watt panel, I wanna pay $100 or less for it. Uh, how do you get, figure that out? It's real simple. It's $100 divided by 100 watts, and it's a dollar a panel. Very, very simple. Uh, so we want to figure out the dollars per watt, so we're actually comparing, uh, and we have a pretty good idea of, of the two of them. So this was uh, $50 more, and it is a $1.65 per watt. Uh, you're going to pay more per watt for the folding because they're, they're just, they just cost more. I don't know why, or because they're more unique, they're sell less of them. I don't know it all works together. You're going to pay more. That's all there is to it. So this is $1.65. This is $1.37 per watt. Now to make a, a really fair comparison, let's look at the uh, Blue Eddy. So the PV200, which is also a 200 watt panel, uh, the PV200 is 250 per watt if you pay full price because it's $500. $500 divided by 200 watts works out to be $2.50 a watt. Way overpriced. I would never pay $2.50 a watt. I think it's better quality. It's not that much better quality. I wouldn't pay that much. It goes on sale all the time and it's bundled. And I think really that's what they want to do. They want to bundle it with their power stations and then you can get a much, much better price per watt. You get a better price on the power station. You get a better price in the solar panel. On the other hand, the, the 375, which I have here, uh, is uh, $2.42 a watt. 
So you divide $850 price by 350 watts and it comes out to do $2.42. Again, that's way too much. You do have the really great convenience of one big panel is all you have to carry. And it's 31 pounds. So it's literally double the price, uh, uh, double the weight, a little more than double the weight of the All Powers, which is the heaviest of these. And the PV200 is 16 pounds. So it's even heavier than the All Powers. This is the Grissel is 11 pounds, 14 pounds. The PV200 is 16 pounds. The PV350 is uh, 31 pounds. Um, and again, I believe that the heavier it is, the better because that means there's more, the material is heavier and denser and the, and the quality of the cabling is, is more expensive and the actual cable, the, the wiring inside the solar panel themselves, actually heavier is better to my mind until you carry it out and then you're gonna wish it was lighter. Carrying out 31 pounds every day in and out may be a problem. Then again, you only do it once instead of twice. Okay, so at this point, I'm not calling any winner. Uh, the price, if you're choosing on price, the All Powers wins. If you're choosing on what I appears to be my initial best quality, the IP65 rating, the better looking cabling, then uh, the magnetic, the easier closing, then I think the Grissel wins so far. The quality of both of the Blue Eddies is higher. The price is outrageous. So they're losing as far as I'm concerned, unless you get them for a lot cheaper, which you can. Okay, this got to be a longer video than I thought. All the pros and cons of the different ones and all the details took me longer than I thought it would take to, to get all that out to you. I think it's important in you making your decision. Of course, the most important thing will be in the next video where I will go over power production. We'll look at the amps and volts in, in series and parallel and see which one is working best uh, and which one would be an advantage. Does, does one lose? Does one win? Big pros, cons. We'll find all that out in the next video. So I hope this helped you. And I try to gear all my reviews to the real user, uh, someone who struggles to carry all this stuff all in and out, or if you don't, who uh, has limited budget, who, wants to, who needs to pay the least per watt. Uh, and I hope this has been useful to you. And in, in the description, please let me know which you think is ahead so far. What's most important to you? The price, the weight, the convenience, the features, What's most important to you? And I, that would really help me to tailor my videos to serve you by far the best I can. And that's always the goal. So uh, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button. That really helps if you hit that thumbs up button. And share with a friend. Hey, I'm learning all about solar panels, these folding solar panels. Go watch this video. That really helps me most of all. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.